What's going on everyone? I am back here with another video and today I'm going to be giving you guys a look at some of the features in iOS 10 that Apple did not go over in their WWDC keynote. Uh, so some of these features um, are, some are small changes and some are relatively big changes and then others are uh, user interface changes. Uh, such as slight designs to the home screen and other menus within the operating system. So the first thing is the ability to shoot raw photos. <coughs> um, now this is something that I can't actually show you because it, um, I'm currently using an iPod Touch 6th generation uh, for this video. But um, if you have an iPhone, uh, say for example an iPhone 6s, um, there will be a setting um, under the settings application that will allow you to shoot um, uncompressed raw photos uh, just like you could on a, a high-end DSLR camera. So basically what this would let you do is the pro photographers could edit um, and modify their photos taken with their iOS device and put it into a editing program such as Photoshop or Lightroom and be able to edit the photo. Now, Android has had this feature for quite some time, so it's nothing really new, um, but it is nice to now have it on um, iOS. All right, moving on. Um, these next two uh, changes have to do with uh, the home screen, and it's basically the first one is a slight change in how the apps open and close. So let's just say, for example, I open the settings application and you'll notice that there's a slightly different animation uh, when opening it. So if I click it, so you see it just, there's a very slight difference. And I close it, see, the application itself kind of expands and then sucks back down again. Um, it's really fast. Um, you can see, we'll do it again. And it just kind of slides back down there. So. Pretty cool. Um, nothing major, but it is a slight change. Um, then the other thing relating with the home screen has to do with folders. So the way the folders open and close has also been changed, and the look of folders is um, also been slightly changed. So if we open the folder, as you can see, the animation for opening and closing the folder um, is slightly different than what it was in iOS 9. So basically it doesn't move any of the apps on your screen it only opens the folder as you can see the folder is the only thing that is moving um, when you open and close um, and another thing with the folder is the fact that the transparency of the folder is much much clearer so basically you could see your wallpaper behind the folder uh, much clearer than you could in ios 9 so that's pretty cool okay moving on um Widgets are no longer in the notification center on the home screen. So if we go and drop down, as you can see, you no longer have widget access uh, within the notification center on your home screen. So you can no longer swipe left or right to access that. So you have to get to your widgets by swiping over to your today view, which is at the far right of your screen. And from here is where you can add and edit uh, all of your widgets. Now, if you're within an application, so let's go and open up settings again, um, and you drop down the notification center. Now from here, it will add the ability to get your, your widgets. So if I slide over, as you can see, now we have access to our widgets uh, from within the app. So it works basically the same as it does um, in iOS 9 currently. Okay, moving on. Is voicemail transcription. Uh, this is another one that I cannot show you because, of course, this is an iPod Touch. But basically what voicemail transcription is, is when you receive a voicemail, iOS 10 convert uh, the voicemail into text. So you can legitimately read the voicemail instead of listening to it. Uh, next up, a new Siri setting placement um, under the settings application. So moved. So if we go into the uh, settings app, as you can see, the settings for Siri has been moved to the main screen of the settings app, so you can get quicker access to that, as well as the little Siri icon has been changed as well. Okay, moving on. 
Um, the next feature has to do with the keyboard clicks. Um, so the keyboard sounds uh, have been slightly changed within iOS 10. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put some sounds on screen so you guys can hear the difference. Alright, so as you could heard, uh, the sound of the keyboard clicks within iOS 10 are slightly different than they were in iOS 9. Okay, next up is new design uh, of the banner notifications that you receive uh, from any app that sends you push notifications. So if I go and send myself a text message here, um, we'll get a quick look at what the new banner notifications looks like. So let's just run, type a random word. And click out. Okay, so you can see the look and design of the banner notifications has been changed quite drastically. Um, basically, it's so it can match the notifications that you see with the notification center, as well as on the lock screen. And if I send another text, acting upon the notification works the same way. So if I drag down, as you can see, uh, you can immediately reply to that message. So it works the same, just the design and look of the little notification banner has been slightly altered. So, moving on. Uh, there is now something called Magnifier uh, under Accessibility Settings. So if we jump into Settings, General, and go to Accessibility, uh, we now see this here called Magnifier. So if we turn that on, uh, basically, iOS will allow you to magnify things such as text or anything like that uh, using the device's camera. And you have to triple click the home button to activate that. So let's go back to the home screen and triple click. As you can see now, it kind of opens up a camera interface. So we have a flash button. So if you click that, it'll turn the flash on and off. Then you have the lock button, which will basically lock the focus and exposure of the camera. Uh, and then you have the ability to change uh, the white and blue balance. As you can see here, you can change it to white and blue, yellow, blue, gray scale, yellow, black, and red and black. And then you have these little sliders here that you can change all the colors and brightness uh, manually if you don't want to use those little sliders. And then when you're done, you can click that button again. And you're good there. Um, and then to basically magnify text, you would slide this little slider and it zooms in. As you can see, it uses the digital zooming function of the camera to zoom in on text uh, that may be hard to read. So if you're someone that has uh, bad eyesight or something like that, you can use this and magnify text and be able to read it easier. Okay, next up. <clears throat> um, we now have... Uh, display accommodations. So basically what display accommodations is, is it basically is a section uh, where all of the display options are uh, set now. So basically invert colors, color filters, and the reduced white point has now been all combined into one section uh, to make it more um, organized and easier to find. So that's quite nice. So let's go ahead and back out and move on. Um, there is now a new dictionary within the general settings. So this is another thing that has to do with settings. So under general, and we scroll down <coughs> uh, right here. As you can see, there's a new dictionary tab. So if we click on that, you can now see all of the dictionary options uh, with that you can download and add to your system. So currently, American English and the Apple Dictionary is added, but you can add British Dictionary, Chinese, Danish, and a whole ton more different uh, languages. Uh, so that's quite nice. Okay, moving on. Um, you now have the ability to view and delete system device profiles. So this is also in the general settings. So if we scroll down, you can see uh, the profile section here. So if you click that, you now can access and manage all of uh, the profiles that you have um, installed on your device. Um, but if you wanted to delete it or anything like that, you would click on the 
uh, profile, and then you can get more details, see if the pro uh, profile is verified, and then you can delete the profile completely if you do not want it installed on your device anymore. Next up, uh, it has to do with wallpapers. Uh, there is one new wallpaper that comes with iOS 10. So if we go to stills, scroll down, you can see this wallpaper here uh, is the brand new one that comes with the iOS 10 update. Um, other than that, I don't believe there is any other new wallpapers that is included with this update. Okay, moving on. Uh, there is now a new speech recognition section under privacy settings. Uh, so if we go over to the privacy settings... Right here, uh, you'll now see a speech recognition section, which basically this is where uh, you can view all of the applications that are requiring your uh, speech recognition software, such as Siri and or Dictation. Okay, moving on. Uh, this is another, has to do with settings. A lot of these actually have to do with the settings app. Um, but the mail contacts and calendars have now been split up uh, separately. So if we go right here, as you can see, mail, contacts, and calendars have, have their own um, sections within settings. So instead of having it all clumped into one uh, menu, they each get their own section. So you can go into mail, change settings there, contacts, calendar, so on and so forth. Okay, next up is a new home kit uh, under settings. So down here, right below news, so you can see we have now a section for the home. So you click that and you can use and change your settings for the home kit configuration and all of your home kit devices. Uh, and you can use iCloud and everything like that. Okay, last but not least is a new placement of the edit button in the Photos app. So another really small change. You can see the edit button within a photo. Let's go ahead and open up a photo. Just this one here. Okay, as you can see, the edit button for changing uh, the colors and saturation and everything of a photo has been altered. So instead of a button that says edit up at the top, you now have this little button right here that looks like a bunch of sliders. And that basically is your new edit button. So if we click that, it will then bring you into the editing menu where you can get uh, third-party apps uh, to edit the photo. Uh, you have red-eye reduction, auto-enhance, crop, uh, filters, and then you have the color adjustments that you can adjust the light, color, and B and W. Um, then another thing within this little menu here, you have something new called markup. So if we click on that, this allows you to draw on top of your photos. So you can choose the color down here. So say we want it to be, let's just stay, keep it red. Uh, you can just like say I'm going to circle that and then I'm going to cross out that, put an arrow, say, over here, so on and so forth. So it's kind of a neat way. Uh, to, it's another kind of business-related thing, but it also can be fun. So you can draw on your photos, uh, and then you can send it off to your friend via a text message or something like that. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then you have this, which is basically a magnifier, so you can magnify whoops, uh, the text or the photo so you can see exactly what you're doing. It's pretty cool. Uh, and then we have this here, which implements a text box. So we can move the text box wherever we want. So right here. And then you can go into the text, click edit. And then we can say, cool. There we go. And done. So there you go. Now we have a text box that says cool. And you can do all of this on top of your photos. So really, really neat and kind of fun. So, but basically that is it. Uh, that's basically all of the... Uh, major um, other changes that I kind of came across uh, that, like I said, Apple did not go over their keynote. So, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button right down below. Uh, hit that like button as well. Greatly appreciated. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, or anything like that, drop a comment in the comment section, and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. So, yeah, with that being said, hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.